hi hello and welcome to swiftlink tutorials today i am going to teach something regarding to the date pickers that is available in xcode for ios the date pickers are like they appear to be different when compared with the android and this has some effect of scrolling and fixing the dates as per your needs so as per the user's requirements there may be uh, many constraints or needs and today one of the need is once i click a text field the date picker has to appear as a power like a toolbar so that uh, the user can fix the date and once he clicks a button the date appears over the text field so this is our need today and we are going to solve this so first i'll show you The date picker looks something like this so it has some motion so that the user can toggle between these fields different fields and times and he has uh, the option of even uh, changing the format like just time date date and time and even the counter timer so you can also fix these constraints so that uh, which may help you so the first thing just take a text field and just place it out uh, click the car just drag and drop so that you will be getting some connection between the storyboard and the controller and just type it like a uh, date this So it's done right now just go to the view controller now you could see the connection has been established just create toolbar now we are going to create a function uh, that will create the toolbars So here we are going to define a toolbar. Mm -hmm. um, this creates the toolbar. Whereas now we have to assign the width for the toolbar. Maybe it may appear all over the screen. No, that is the width all over its width. So toolbar dot set uh, toolbar dot size fit so this will occupy the entire width of the screen now then we need a button so that uh, once the user clicks the button the toolbar hides and the date which he has chosen will appear over the text field so for that we are going to create a button called let done uh, equal to my bar button item of okay and here you could uh, mention the bar button item style that is how we are going to do as it's a done the target is nil and the action selected Not show date, let that be a function. So, as it pops out, error I'm going to do so. We define this function shell for hope it has to Okay, let us fix it on the go. Mm, okay, now we have to add this button to the toolbar. So just toolbar dot 
set item so there is done that is going to be an array so that you can assign n number of buttons for particular toolbar so now this assigns the done button to the toolbar uh, so when this has to appear these questions has to be answered and so that we are going to assign that uh, post accessory view will be the toolbar so with the help of toolbar the user can provide the input next is the display dot input view oops sorry the foremost one which I forgot is that you have to create let picker equal to UI uh, picker off this has to be declared so that you could apply it here input view equal to picker sorry that is defined within the function so that it shows out an error yep and it's done right now so now I'm going to show just the like I need the date alone whereas I don't need the time so that I will be using um, picker or date picker more you could you, as you have seen some options three to four I'm choosing the one which I am in it dot date okay so it's fixed right now so what has to be within the function now we will be uh, having something like a date formatter so I need the date has to appear in some particular format so regarding that date format equal to uh, date Formatter of matter data format dot date format equal to my one my one that's the year and the month and date so and even I record the time so that I am going to do uh, define the time. So I have defined the how or uh, the layout how the time has to appear and I choose an error. Oh, oops, sorry. It has to be single quotes. Uh, now let the label day display a display dot now no I have to store it in a string right string equal to um, what was it uh, date uh, format uh, dot uh, and string from date so the date will be picked from picker dot date 
so now we have assigned it to a string and this string has to be assigned to that particular label so the label name is date display dot mm, date text equals mm, s t i r n g this down so once it has been uh, filled into that TA, that is that ui text field we have to close that dot and editing has to be true so once it's done automatically the toolbar gets hidden and here there's an error okay we have to just fix it adding object to see oh the error goes right now so let's look up the demo So I have clicked it. You could see an awesome a toolbar with a calendar. So I'm setting it to March 24, 2017. Yes, actually, the size is something. Think. So let me go to main storyboard and fix it with size let it be zero zero like that Let's say I don't know what I'm Just click that. Fine, I'll run that app. Done. So, as simple as that, we have created this. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the video.